Hey there, friends. I hope all of you are having a joyful Sunday. <laughs> okay, I about forgot what day it was there. I talked to my mom. I talked to my sister last week, and I told her that we went out for the day, and she was like, why did you, I thought you usually went out on Tuesday. She said, why did you go out on Friday? And I was like, it's not Friday, it's Tuesday. And then she said a lot of bad words and stuff. <laughs> I told my mom that night, I was like, your daughter needs to be sent to her room and have her mouth washed out with soap. Uh, but it was really funny. So happy Sunday, my friends. We have a big mama, five and three quarters inches here. She is five by seven. If you guys remember, this is the vintage fabric that I picked up at uh, a churchyard sale last year and I just I love it it is so uh, I call it granny's apron because that's what it reminds me of it just reminds me of a granny's apron kind of fabric of course we got tons and tons and tons of hairy paper clips for you to play with so let's go through our flow journal and you know we'll talk about flow journals and how they interact and how you can interact with them any Anytime you see a staple, I mean not a staple, a, a paper clip on a page, that is a cluster of creativity for you to meander through and see what you can make with it. The books are packed with bookmarks, art trading cards, art trading coins. There are There's a 3x3 three three mini book in here. There are possibilities for other mini books scattered through the um scattered through this big volume this these books are starting to incorporate my handmade paper my diy kind of paper pads that i have been working on my commitment this year is to try to uh to um make my own paper because paper pads are not created usually in the United States. I have been keeping a list of USA created crafty things because I think that, you know, as we enter 2021, it is so important to really support our local artists, to support uh, USA manufacturing, um, you know, to support the people who are, um, are, are dependent on their, their jobs. And I mean, who isn't right? We all need jobs. We all need to work, but I think it's really important to celebrate local and celebrate makers that are based in the USA. And, you know, somebody asked me, uh, if I had a list of USA makers and I actually do I'm actually keeping a list so that will be a video for another day these things in the book I created um, I mean they're a mix right they're a mix between our vintage papers and papers that I have created and also embellishments that I've created because I think that it's important to use what you have when you kind of issue yourself a challenge to use what you have you discover different ways to use your items so you know we we discovered different ways to use our stamps we discovered different ways to use some fabric scraps it's just it kind of um it kind of really does hone your creativity and make you aware of what you have in your vicinity, right? I had a, um, I don't know what they call this thing, an envelope. Uh, an envelope punch board is what they call it. And I had totally forgotten I had it. Some sweet soul gave it to me. And I got it out last week and I started making envelopes. And that was such a cool skill to learn because I didn't know how to use the punch board. You know, the punch board was just like one of those things that I didn't know how to use. And then I thought, well, I don't have time, you know, to learn how to use it. But... <laughs> It's really simple, and it was really fun to incorporate handmade envelopes into 
into my flow journals. Of course, we do a ton of clipping and cutting and uh, arranging. It, everything is curated, you know, by color, by theme. Uh, you can look at that and see how all of these colors fit so nicely together. Uh, another bit of handmade paper here, this time with a pop of gold. I thought those pops of gold really did turn out nicely. You know, you can look at these uh, books as they're wonderful journal prompts. You have all kinds of things that you can write about, that you can talk about, that you can read about. You know, here's a great journal prompt. The Family. This is from a Jane Austen book, and it talks about the Austen family and how they came together and how, um, you know, just desperately kind of poor they were. It, you know, that's a theme in Jane Austen's books is the disparity between the upper class and the lower class, but not even really the lower class. It is the, um, the, the wealthy um, aristocrats and the not so wealthy aristocrats because you could be born into a, a wealthy line and then lose wealth. And that's what often happened. Man, oh man, I'm reading a great book now, you guys, called The House of Trelawney. Trelawney. And I'll put a link in the description box below so you can hopefully check that out. My friend Jody, uh, let me borrow it. And I tell you, it resonates with me. It ticks all the boxes. <laughs> it's about a, a, a poor aristocratic family in uh, this century. It's written in 2000. It's written, uh, the, the story takes place in 2008. Uh, I am just, I'm kind of like, it's one of those things that's super hard to put down. This is a handmade piece. It says wild. I'm incorporating the use of the things that I have, which I have a lot of paint. And I've been painting and painting and painting. And I just got to tell you, I am so enjoying the process of getting my paints out and, you know, putting them on my on my desk pad and uh, painting this and that throughout the day. These big desk pads have been turned into 12 by 12 papers and those are, an, you know, another attempt at DIY uh, paper pad making. There's nothing wrong with buying things. I don't, I don't want to ever, you know, leave y'all with the impression that there's anything wrong with that. It's not anything wrong with it. It's your decision. You know, if you want to buy paper pads, then go out and get them, y'all. Um, if you want to challenge yourself to use what you have, then that's cool, too. If you're somebody who wants to purchase things, then thank goodness for you, because you're making our economy go around. So I don't ever want to leave you guys with the impression that um, I'm, I'm probably the least judgmental person that you'll ever hope to meet. You know, my philosophy is to just let it roll, man, in the immortal words of, um, of Lowell George and Little Feet. Just let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. Just lots of creative papers in here, images, things that you don't have to cut because they're pre-cut for you. So a lot of things can just be pasted onto a piece of mixed media or an art trading card. Maybe you have a happy mail partner. These things can be used for happy mail. I am really enjoying slow sewing at the moment. So you'll see that I've incorporated some slow sewing into these books as well. These are big, 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 big books. Um, I'm not shipping anything until January the 5th. But uh, I'm, I'm going ahead and listing um, journals in the shop because that's how I spend, you know, my work days is uh, creating journals for you guys. And I'm so grateful um, to y'all for supporting the Etsy store. I really did love the way this little bead stream came out because I, I just couldn't find like an ending bead. And so I cobbled together some stone chips and I thought that that turned out really good and it kind of matched this as well. 
I, I did find a, I found two brads, so I'm incorporating those. If you guys have been listening to me, you know that I'm just, I'm out of brads, but I'm going to use buttons as brads. I created some grunge board buttons, and I think that those will just be just fine with brads. No worries here. 1850, report to Cong Congress agriculture department i always think things like that are super interesting a lot of texture here on this page vintage dictionary you know you just gotta have some food in there somewhere and we've got food here food food um barbecue and remember anytime you see a paper clip uh you can look at those images as a, a little creative cluster. I am really, really enjoying transforming uh, Christmas cards into mixed media cards. So I'll put you a template here and you can, you know, you can choose something from the, well, actually this probably would work really good right here. And there you go. You've just made a card. Boom. It happens that fast. <laughs> These books are designed, they're called flow journals because it is, um, to me, it's an important thing to be able to flow with your art and not get too kind of caught up in the trying to make things perfect or trying to make things right. It's such a marvelous, marvelous opportunity to tap into your inner spirit and your inner self. Look how nicely these colors go together. And to create totally from your heart, you know, from your soul, from that place of spirit that just loves to sit down and piddle with paper. I have always loved paper. There's, uh, you know, whether it's books, whether it's writing, uh, a notepad, a notebook, uh, a pencil and paper have always been, always been my friend. Um, I, I know a lot of you know this, but in, you know, in case you don't, I was a songwriter and a singer, played in bands, had a recording studio for years and years. And that kind of dynamic uh, when I was doing it really did involve that note taking and, you know, your pencil or your pen. Um, I was writing songs by myself, writing songs with other people. And, you know, being in the recording studio, you know, this was before, this was analog. This was before all the digital things came out. And, uh, you know, you really did have to keep like notebooks full of, of settings and that kind of thing because boards were not, um, when I say board, that was the, uh, the like the brains of the operation. So boards were not electronic, you know, now they, um, they were electronic, but they weren't, um, uh, they weren't, um, you couldn't, hmm, so now, you know, you can, uh, uh, you can, uh, enter information into a board and it, it, it has channel presets. So this used to be one of my favorite things to do to watch my friend, um, uh, upload um, some of our music and then watch the board set itself. You know, all the faders would fade into position. It was like, that's just like magic, man. I remember when you had to do all that by hand. You know, and every time, you know, you had to remember your settings uh, when you were recording, but not no more. Not no more, my friends. So lots of handmade paper here. We can see like the color orange coming together right there. Uh, more slow sewing. Like I said, I'm really, really enjoying that technique. I think it's a lot of fun. We have vintage sewing, uh, a vintage sewing book for you. This is a vintage, um, this is from a Vega 1973 uh, repair book. A friend from down the road had it and it was like, oh my gosh, that's like perfect for my books. So we still have the, the envelopes, um, you know, the small clusters in here, another card for you to create with. You can see that the colors are just very inspiring. The, uh, you know, the, the textures of the paper are inspiring. Frida Kahlo, this uh, old black and white photograph. I was really lucky to be the recipient of an art um, textbook. 
and I have used it and used it and used it. I'm really hoping that I can stumble across another art textbook. I was hoping to get to the library this week, but our library is closed again. Uh, I just, I just so enjoyed going to the library when it was open uh, and, and browsing their 50 cent um, sales rack. You know, they have books for 50 cents. Look at that Vega. Ah, 1971 Vega. Doesn't that just take you back? Doesn't that take you back to cruising in the parking lot at Hardee's or whatever you did? Uh, anyway, library, you know, closed again. Uh, even though when we did go to the library, we had to, you know, you, you got asked like the five questions and then you had to have your temperature taken and it was, it was worth it. But now you can't even go anymore. Sadness, sadness, sadness. Okay, guys, we are almost done with this big fat book. I hope that you enjoyed perusing through here with me. Uh, these books will be going in the shop a little later on today as soon as I can get them photographed. And um, they're $42, $8.40 to mail. My next mailing day is January the 5th. Thanks, y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.